Dark Star here again, Doom Slayers. Welcome back to my top map series for the Doom games and custom maps. So since I have covered the top 5 maps for the first community chest, I will now do the top 5 for the second installment, Community Chest 2. This time I will say that Community Chest 2 is in fact more than 2 times better than the previous Community Chest which has less bland maps filled with the cons that I have mentioned in the first. Half of the maps in Community Chest 2 are at least decent, and that does make it way better than the first, which means that there will be honorable mentions in this list. So with that, let's get started. Number 5, Map 14, Shadow of Evil. Now while the length and detail for this map is a bit stale, it is still a decent map and it has very good texture set giving the map a very good concept while fighting through hallways with caged enemies. The difficulty is also well balanced here so it is definitely worth playing, and much better than most of the lower ranked levels in this map pack. Number 4, Map 3, Slitch Control. The first impression about this map is how good the design of the map is, and it is one of the first maps to play which means that the mapper did level up from last time. The best thing about this map is the gimmicks and the way to progress. The ways to get the keys is a very interesting concept which is also backed up by the interesting pathing in this level. Also even though this is one of the first few levels, it isn't as hard of a challenge making it a very friendly starting map. Very good map. Best starting map. Highly recommended. Number 3. Map 7 to Hell and Back. This is also a very good somewhat non-linear tech map. The map has a great detail in every room in this map. One good impression that some of the rooms have instantly reminds me of Knee Deep in Z Doom, the map pack that is a redesign of Episode 1 of Doom 1. This map may also take a while to beat, but in a very positive way because each area to explore and return has a good amount of gameplay. Great map, definitely one of the best in this map pack. Number 2, Map 24, The Mucus Flow. Now I wanted to put this map on number 1, but I decided it to put on number 2 and I will get to that later. What made me put this map on this list is that the design for this map, specifically the outside areas, are very well designed, as well as some of the interior rooms. There are even some bizarre textures around the walls that give this map a mysterious feeling. However, the reason why I put this map on number 2 and not number 1 is that it is extremely hard. The difficulty in this map is what I say is literally Castlevania 3 type difficulty. The chain gunners in the towers never stop spawning. If you try to kill them off, you will be there forever. And what makes this map really difficult is the item placement. Literally, the only places you can find health packs and items are at the bases, which is why you see all those items at the start. So if you play this map, you better keep your guard up and be ready if you are to run back to base. And now honorable mention one, map two coolant platform. This is a good starting level. Again, it really does remind me of the first episode of Doom 1. It has that design that takes players back to the past, and the start of the map has a really good gimmick. Honorable Mention 2, Map 19, The Marbellus 3. While the name is a bit strange, the design for this Hell Temple level is good. The room designs for this map are moderately well done. But the difficulty of this map is a bit off balance, but it is still a good map, so I would give this map a chance. Honorable Mention 3, Map 23, Death Mountain. The name of this map may sound familiar to you because this map is actually based on THE Death Mountain from Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I will say that they did the outside areas very well and maybe some of the cave areas, and I admire the transitions between the outside areas and the caves. The only thing that keeps this map from being in the top 5 are the other areas and the design can be a bit bland, as well as the unbalanced challenge with the monster placement. So finally, the best map in Community Chest 2 is... Number 1, Map 20, Enigma. This map is what I say is a big tribute to the Ultimate Doom's Episode 3, Inferno. Because that is exactly what this map reminds me of, and the design in this map is really good. It is the best designed map, and it is very guaranteed to give a great nostalgic feeling. The gameplay is also perfect for this map. It is incredible, and the most fun map to play in Community Chess 2. It is the best map in this map pack. Highly recommended that you play this map. 
And that, good ladies and gentlemen, are the top best maps in Community Chess 2. Stay tuned, you will see my top best map list for Community Chess 3. And to make things even better, Community Chess 3 will also be the first custom map pack I will do a top 5 lowest ranking maps. So with that, good ladies and gentlemen, have a great life.